immediately there's oak. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and today we commence our whiskey tasting with a singleton of Dufftown, 12 years old. And I already already had two of the uh, Dufftown whiskies, the original Dufftown whiskies. They were called Spaker's Cade and Sunray. There's a tail fire on the market. Um, all those three have no age statements on it. And uh, they are in the travel value a 15 and an 18 year old. Um, no, a 15 year old, a liter bottle and this 12 year old in a liter bottle. And the 18 year old and the 28 years old is in the moment in the year 2016 available. The 28 year old or so carries a vintage. Yes, it does. Um, the 12 year old Singleton of Dufftown is quite cheap. Uh, it's around 30 euros, a little bit above, I think. And um, you get a full liter bottle. And uh, this, uh, this bottle has a little bit of special. Uh, it's very flat and it's colored in those, this green old color. Um, because they want to <clears throat> show the well the glass of the former times when the uh, Dufftown distillery was founded and uh, no uh, yes 1896 so they are well one of the old uh, the the latest built distilleries uh, in uh, in the past um, so a lot of distilleries were. Uh, were built in 1824 or were legalized in 1824. And 1896, uh, the Dufftown distillery was built at the uh, newly built uh, railway station, a uh, railway where the station uh, got the name Dufftown. Dufftown was built, no, oh, Rome was built on seven hills and Dufftown was built on seven stills. So there are seven distilleries in Dufftown in the moment. I think there are eight no they wrecked the pity back so they are seven again <clears throat> perfectly balanced naturally rich and smooth uh, i think that uh, this one does not come with a uh, box or a tube <laughs> the sweet and fruity notes in this fine malt from Dufftown at the heart of Speyside are the product of traditional slow distilling using pure water from highland man john's well Long maturation in a unique balance of European and American oak then gives the Singleton of Dufftown a smooth, richly satisfying taste. And unfortunately, it contains sugar caramel. It's 40% ABV, and this one is a 70 CL, and it also exists in a one liter bottle. Yeah. <clears throat> Fruity. So this one, I have no idea where I got that bottle from. It stood there on the shelf in my office for a very long time. So it might be two years old, probably from leftover from a tasting. No idea. So this green bottle does not fit. Uh, with the green of the green screen where I put the pictures in electronically. So it's always difficult to have green in front of green. Immediately there's oak. So there's a spiciness of European oak. And this is 12 years old. Uh, not many of the new uh, issued whiskies appeared with an age statement on it. And the Spaker's Cade, the Sunray, the Tailfire, there they omitted the age. And here, 12 years and the European oak immediately present. And then a sherry fruitiness, a light sherry fruitiness, not too much, together with ripe fruits. And then in the back, fresh fruit, apple, pears, 
and then more and more citrus. A very dominant citrus note now. Yeah, the fruitiness dominates and combines with the oakiness. <clears throat> mouth filling and immediately the oakiness, the European oak, intense and little sugar, sugary sweet, yeah, and bitterness, coffee, cocoa, mm -hmm. sweet and bitter, mm. dangerously quaffable. <sighs> the end is getting drier. Yeah, the side just comes through again. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the good space side whiskies, which has an age statement and which has age to show shows European oak intensity and a lot better than a lot of other modern whiskies and the bitterness of the European oak still present intensifying after the second sip so if you do not like the, the light bitterness you might stay with this big cascade or the sunrise which matured a lot shorter and does not uh, suck the tannins out of the cask balls, from the staves of the cask. Yeah, very affordable, very, yeah, complex, uh, lots of facets in it. Uh, you can, you will have a, a very varying impression over the time with this bottle. So there's always news to detect in this whiskey, very complex for this age. It's the mixture from the ex-bourbon and the European oak casks. Thank you for watching, stay tuned and feel free to give your comments in our whiskey database and feel free to share this video with a friend.